The Thomas Nass Cartoon Award, finally a respite from war here, uh, organ transplants and disaster. We want to welcome this year's Kevin Callagher, known in the cartoon world as Cal. His cartoon appears in The Economist and The Baltimore Sun. This is the fourth time that Cal has won the OPC Award for his craft, and I understand tonight he has prepared a little presentation for us. Thank you very much. This is great. What an honor. Hello, everyone. Good to see you. So uh, it's customary to uh, come up here and thank the scores of people who are responsible for helping you to this high honor. But as a cartoonist, I thought it would be appropriate to thank the politicians from whose faces I have drawn inspiration over the years. So I've got a collection of some of my favorite cartoons I've drawn throughout the decades of some of the, my favorite cartoonists, um, politicians. And I'm going to start with an, uh, some of my early work. Um, it, um, this is a very important cartoon. And, um, <laughs> and it, it's important for two reasons. Um, first, I did it at six years old. It's Abraham Lincoln, Gettysburg Address, OK? <laughs> And so first, I got to thank my mom for, for saving this all this time. <laughs> but, but more importantly, more importantly, this cartoon inspired a feature-length motion picture starring Daniel Day-Lewis. <laughs> so now I started my professional career in Great Britain. And I have to uh, you'd be great, grateful to Margaret Thatcher for her years of service to cartoonists. Um, but there was also other politicians that we had to deal with. And they're not all nice. Some bad guys, like Pinochet in Chile and Milosevic in Serbia. But then there's also good guys, like the popes in Vatican. We have old popes, and then we have new popes. And then we also have the oddball guys like the Kims in Korea. Now, American presidents have long supplied us with uh, facial fodder for our cartoonists. Uh, there were Republicans like Ronald Reagan here with his Laurel and Hardy sidekick, Mikhail Gorbachev. And then there was George W. Bush, who was the president that kept on giving and giving and giving. Now, not to be outdone, we're the Democrats. OK. They have Democrats old, and we have Democrats new. Now, this was a, it just shows how things also change. It's a difficult for us cartoons, because the politicians constantly change. This is what Barack Obama looked like when he ran in 2008, and this is what he looks like today. <laughs> so things do change. They do change. But also, there's the staff, right? The people that back up the presidents, like the secretaries of state. <laughs> John Kerry. <laughs> and who could forget the vice president? <laughs> so, but speaking of vice presidents, I got to be very thankful to George Bush for bringing to us Dick Cheney. <laughs> And then, of course, there's also, when we're on the Republican side, there's also Donald Trump. <laughs> and now I know he has nothing to do with international affairs, but believe me, every cartoonist around the world is thankful for Donald Trump. <laughs> and then finally, there's the, the cartoon characters in the, in the Tea Party, which also has given us a lot of material. So, but there is one, there's one guy in particular that I've got to thank. And that is this man, Senator John McCain because his selection of Sarah Palin as his running mate in 2008 was a seminal moment in the history of cartooning. <laughs> and in fact, I've actually invited him here today um, to, to thank him in person. So Senator McCain, thank you for being here. But I got a question for you. Everyone in this room is aware of Sarah Palin's impressive foreign policy credentials. Uh, besides that, do you really think she was or is qualified to be president? Listen, my friends, Sarah Palin is qualified to be president. She has ridden caribou to hunt polar bears with bazookas. She has caught Chinook salmon blindfolded with her teeth. 
No community organizer in Chicago has ever done that, right? No, you're right. Thank you very much, Senator McCain. Give it up to Senator McCain. Give it up for Senator. Thank you very much for being here. So, so finally, I feel that I need to thank my publishers for my two publications, The Baltimore Sun, where I've been drawing for 20 years, and The Economist, where this month I celebrate my 36th anniversary of the publication. And together, I've published over 8,000 cartoons and 140 magazine covers. Now, I know what you're thinking, though. You look at a guy like this young, dashing fellow up here, and you say, how on earth did he do this for 36 years? And the answer is that there's some proof here is because actually my mother, thank God for my mother, she found the first cartoon I did for The Economist. And it was this one I did when I was six years old. So anyways, I want to thank everyone here and, and my best congratulations to all the winners tonight. Thank you very much. Flashbacks of the campaign, give me chills. The cartoon citation, by the way, goes to the 2011 NAST winner, Patrick Chappet of International New York Times.